Hi everyone, welcome to another video and probably welcome to my first appearance on camera. Now that's not the main reason why I'm uh, doing this video, it's not to talk about myself uh, and to talk about how nervous I am by recording this. No, that's not the main reason. The main reason is um, I really want to share with you uh, one of the things that I use uh, in my uh, aviary and I give to my birds as well. And that is eucalyptus. Uh, what I mean with eucalyptus, I mean eucalypt, fresh eucalyptus branches. Uh, so probably some some of you already know, but um, I use uh, eucalyptus uh, as a natural uh, antiviral, antifungal treatment for my birds. Uh, one of the reasons, that's those are the main reasons why I use it. And uh, one of the reasons is because, you know, when birds love this, uh, Birds love uh, the fresh branches of eucalyptus. They spend hours on that. It's also a way to maintain birds uh, occupied and entertained uh, in in the aviary or in the uh, in the big cages as well. Um, so those are the main reasons why I give this to them. So today it's all about this, and the main reason is uh, also uh, you going with me uh, through all of this process. Uh, from uh, cutting the, some of the fresh branches, um, the process of cleaning the branches as well, that's actually probably the most important part on this uh, because uh, you know outside it's in contact with other birds, with other animals, uh, so we need to make sure that we clean everything properly to avoid bringing something that we actually don't want uh, to the inside of our aviary. Um, so that's probably the main part of this video that you need to pay attention and then uh, after doing that we will give those fresh branches to the birds and hopefully I will be able to record and you will see the result uh, of that when, when, they are, when the branches are actually inside the cage. But let's stop talking and let's get some tools and get some fresh branches and I'll see you guys in a second. I barely use the, the, the tools uh, because the, the branches are really uh, thin so you can actually pull them off of the tree uh, with your bare hands uh, which, which is much easier actually um, than using tools. So the next process now it's going to be uh, cleaning the branches and I'll see you guys at home. So we already have our fresh branches over here. The next step is uh, washing, in, washing it on uh, water, normal water, and then I will bring Vircon S in it. Uh, it will stay with Vircon S for 30 minutes roughly, and then I will uh, wash it again. But before starting that process, I will just remove all of these uh, old leaves, uh, and yeah. Let's let's start doing it. Something really interesting. Do you remember me telling you that we need to make sure that we need to clean everything properly? 
Uh, so this is one of the reasons, as you can see, uh, these, these are feces from an external uh, bird, so a bird from the outside. So and this is something that we actually we need to make sure that this is cleaned properly. Uh, so we don't know if, if this may contain any bacteria or any virus that could be harmful for our birds. Uh, so this is how important uh, this is how important it is to make sure that everything is cleaned properly. Uh, yeah, I just want you guys to let you know that. So after making a selection, this is actually what we have at the end, and this is actually what got left. As you can see, these are actually really old uh, leaves and branches as well, a little bit thick, and this is actually what we're going to give to our birds. So now the next step is washing it and then break on us. Here it is, the Virconess. So the next step is mix this with water over there and then dip the eucalyptus in that water and wait. There you go. Now, after doing this, we just wait 30 minutes and then wash it again. You need to let it to dry first and then it's ready to give to the birds. So let's wait. And here we have it, all washed properly. And now uh, we just need this to dry properly a little bit on the sun and it's ready to serve and there it is so the final result so already uh, separated uh, this in different portions for the different uh, cages and uh, it's ready now to go inside uh, the aviary so then the next thing you will see is probably the reaction of the birds uh, to this so I will leave you now uh, with those images and I hope you all enjoy this video if you have any other questions please uh, leave it below uh, in the comment section and I will kindly reply to all of you uh, take care of yourself and thank you very much for watching mm -hmm.